the more information we can have and, and use the better that we can do as a board to complete the evaluation. So I, I sent you an email and I would like to go to part MSBA and part of the 360 and kind of combine it together. We'd use the criteria that we did in the past, but I would like to look and we consider after we go through it, do we look at the criteria that MSBA recommends? So uh, that's why I said in item number two, we should use what we have in the past because uh, an employee should always know what they're gonna be evalu evaluated on. And then we would look at criteria and setting other goals in the, in the future. So I kind of put together t a recommended timeline and so uh, I'd like to approve the model tonight if, if everyone agrees. And then um, the 360 would be completed. And, and so we would, well, excuse me, let me back up. On the 9th, we have the meeting on Friday. And the purpose of that meeting is, is to take a look at uh, you know successes that we've had this last year, the challenges, and talk about future goals and, and things that we'd like to accomplish. And so to me, that is also a good part of the total evaluation. Then we would uh, look at the 360s from last year and this year, and just as a tool for us to, to make our, our own evaluations. And then on June 11th, if everyone could complete the valuation, and it would be like, this, this is, let me see, 16, yes. And one of, what they recommended, and I like what they recommended, is you, you had this and then uh, you would know where each, not who the board member is, but where each uh, board of the six were we voted. So uh, that way you don't just dilute it down and you see the whole thing. And so I would say this, that, that we also want comments. So comments should be constructive. Um, you know, things that are done well, you say well. Things that need improvement, we need to touch on those also. So, and then on the 19th, we would go into closed session and come with one evaluation. And then, of course, um, I would meet with Dr. Funk and go through that, and then we need to publicly give a summary. It's interesting. Uh, when we talked at the, this meeting, he said, is it required that school districts do this? Absolutely not, but they highly recommended it because the legislature in some cases has come out and dictated that things be done in certain cases, and if we can come back and say, well, we're doing it anyway, then uh, there wouldn't have to be legislation that would require that, so. Um, sure. Yes. Um, no, we would we would have it available for you to come in here and look at it. Um, the tr the problem with sending things out like that that's um, HR related can be problem. Or if, if you. No, I don't. I don't. It doesn't matter to me at all. I'm okay. Just what was the question? If you could repeat it. How will we get the evaluation and turn it back in? Is it going through email or how? No, do we that do it? will be through email. You will receive a, an email and it, uh, Survey Monkey. It will go in there, and then the data will be compiled. So, um, and then when the when this form comes, you know it's it's your your name's not written by anything. It's it's. Um, it'll go in there automatically into the spot that you have selected. So you're saying Am that Am I we saying that right, Jim? Yes, um, so what would happen is you would have to log in to the SurveyMonkey uh, and you would 
take the form that basically the form that MSBA is recommending that you use and we just put it in a survey monkey form. That way when you fill it out, it's all compiled into one thing. Somebody doesn't have to sit down and go through each of them and compile it. It'll, it can all be tabulated into one spreadsheet which the board chair would receive. And then we as a board would discuss that on the 19th. We'll uh, come in ahead of time to review it before the meeting then. Is that what and your we'll plans are? We'll also have copies avail available for you that night to look at. So if you read it and you want to check back as we discuss things, you'll have a copy there to look at for that night. More question. It might be a dumb one. What are the, I was looking on here and it says like goal one, goal two, goal three. What are the goals? Do we know what the goals are? And maybe I should know those and don't. And if, I, if that's true, I'm sorry. They would be the same as the 360, Jim. Do you want to touch on that? So let me, I guess uh, I can walk through this to make sure that I have this right, overseeing the process. So what would happen is um, you would prove the model tonight, then... Uh, right now, the direct reports are using the same criteria that they used last year in giving feedback for the superintendent, okay? So then you'll get that piece of information. And when it comes time, you'll have that feedback, and then you, we will use the new form format and plug that criteria into that format for you to be able to do the evaluation. So you would see that ahead of time. It's things like operational leadership and communication and things like that. Um, but you, you would have those ahead of time. So you would know what they are. Um, I have a couple comments that I do appreciate that going to the, uh, doing this evaluation yearly. I think that's important. Um, and also that we're um, not only doing a 360 as was done last time. Um, it's fine to incorporate that, but um, I believe it needs to be more of an evaluation by the board since it's about an employee of ours. Um, one question I have is who would be uh, participating in the closed session of June 19th? That would be the board and Jim. Okay, because last time um, uh, there were some uh, subordinates in the closed session, and I guess just personally I find it uh, inappropriate if uh, subordinates are providing input or guiding the board since it is the board's decision and the board's employee. Jim would be involved so that we make sure that we stay within HR and so his input would be what would be legal to have on there, basically. And so what I, what I envision is that your, your comments would come in on the, uh, before that date, we would include that, and then we need to come up with a summary as a board. And so in that closed session, that's what we would do. So the board members alone would um, compile the summary. I also have the ability to be there if I so choose, since this, this evaluation is about me. And Lori has been in every evaluation as a deputy superintendent since we've started this. Well, I, I'm a firm believer because we've done it in the past doesn't mean we always need to do it. Uh, I just, it is a board evaluation. And so, uh, and it's important to have Jim in there, in my opinion to make sure that we do, do it correctly. And I believe that since we are doing the people's business, we do need to do a, the best job that we can. And I don't believe that in other sectors um, of government or even private um, industry do subordinates sit in. So I do support that, um, that decision of limiting the number. And then, so you are saying that um, the board members solely will put together the review, the um, summary. With Jim's help, I'm, I'm 
putting that together so we do it right. Yes. As far as legal matters only. Yes. Thank you. Oh, one final question. Um, and so this will be all that we will be discussing at the retreat because I noticed that the the agenda just says study session, which is doesn't really say anything at all, unless I'm reading it wrong. It just says study session. So this will be all we'll be doing at the retreat on no. Friday? No, that is, we're going to have successes, challenges, uh, our focuses and goals of the future. And we may talk about us as a board, where, what, if we want to do an evaluation on it, on ourselves. Okay. Is there a reason that the agenda was so generic? There's a posting requirement of 72 hours before a special meeting. So Ashley posted it this morning, and I have been in Rochester all day, and Ken and I haven't had a chance to sit down to, to flesh out what he just mentioned. Thank you. And so then that, of course, will be an open session, correct? Has to be, okay. yep. Any other questions or comments? Can you clarify the, the 360 information, which I don't think should be emailed in any fashion? No, it's not. I also think there should be an expectation that when it's available for review, that the six of us come in and review it ahead of time so that we don't have to sit and wait for others to read it. Which, which, which We were not planning on mailing it out at all. It was to, it would be here and be available to, for us to come in and individually. But I'm just saying at the meeting, we should not set time aside to review it. Right, out of respect for of others, time. yeah. Right. But I also want to make sure you've got a copy there, so if you want to refer back to something. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm sorry, did you say that we could just pick up a copy then? No. Ahead of time, no. Okay, thank you. Other questions? So the day of the meeting, um, if I arrived here at like 3.30, I could have access to it, go over it very thoroughly, have plenty of time, you know what I mean, and, and sure. be okay? Yeah. Okay, and it'll be available. Where will I get it? I'm sure it's not gonna be Down. sitting in here. Down, yeah, with Ashley. Okay, awesome, thank you. Ashley will have it. Okay, any other questions? You mentioned something available on Friday, the 360 is available on Friday, or did I misunderstand that? Jim said that the 360s are due on Thursday. So, so if Ashley could have those available on Friday, that gives us plenty of time. Okay, so that was just, sorry, I'm, that confused me. So the, the memo says the 360 evaluation would be to the board on the 11th. So are we saying that it'll be to us on Friday the 9th? Is that what we're saying? Uh, we, I had put that date in there, but it will be available earlier. Okay, thank you. Any other questions or comments? No, just uh, thank you for, I know you put a lot of effort into that and it looks like a great plan to me. And I appreciate it very much. So I'd let entertain a motion then to approve. I'll so move. Okay, is there a second of the motion? I'll second. Any further discussion? Okay, all those in favor of the, the timeline and the plan here for the superintendent evaluation signify by saying aye. 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 Full same sign. Motion carries. Um, I think we're on to, there's nothing to study session, so we're on to adjournment. Is there a motion to adjourn? May I so move? Okay, is there a second? Okay. Meeting is adjourned. <laughs>